This program, I fired live ammunition off a nuclear submarine with the Navy SEALs. I've held plutonium, arguably the most dangerous substance in the world, and I've landed on an aircraft carrier in an F-A-18 fighter jet. But tonight, on this stage, I will attempt the scariest thing I've ever done. Join me as I go behind closed doors to perform as a Las Vegas showgirl. Las Vegas, a town defined by high-stakes gambling and the classic Las Vegas stage show. This is Bally's Jubilee, the largest and longest-running stage spectacular in Las Vegas. This is what you're used to seeing, but what you don't see is what happens behind the curtains. The stage is over a half a football field wide and over 10 stories high. It's dominated by three-story hydraulic elevators loaded with various sets. The stage crew moves with the same precision as the on-stage performers. Against this seeming chaos, nearly a hundred performers in various stages of undress hustle through changing costumes up to the very last second. This is the closed-door world I was about to enter. Sitting in the audience and witnessing for the first time what I was about to do was humbling to say the least. The first of my two numbers was called Disco. My role was that of a fully clothed dancer who does the infamous showgirl walk across this enormous stage. The second number, a solo performance, while wearing a red feathered cape with a 10-foot train. So I am about to go out there on stage and experience this vicariously for everyone watching. What do I need to know? Well, <laughs> first of all, you need to smile. I tell you, if you can pull it off, you can make the girl next to you look like she's wrong. Why are you letting me, a non-dancer, behind your closed door? Because it's not been done before, quite honestly. This is backstage, not quite as glamorous. To be hired, a showgirl must pass a mandatory drug test, sign a six-month contract, be at least 18 years of age, and meet the minimum height requirement of 5 feet 8 inches. Starting salary is $600 a week. And then each night, you have to clock in and clock out. Thanks. Still Diane Palm and dance instructor Barbara Brandt met me behind closed doors in the vast Jubilee Theater. What's happened is that you've lost the presentation. Right. Okay, just because I'm just counting. Just counting it to the back. I would have three days to rehearse. My crash course would be led by Jubilee Company manager, Fluff Laco. Let's go back and do that again because now she's getting on her feet and she's forgetting about her arm. Just like that. Too high. Straighten your elbows. There you go. Okay, that's it. Okay. Good. She's right. smiling already. That's good. A slow, a slow, fast, two, three, four. You're rushing the turn. Only go to the red and yellow. Don't spread your fingers. Okay. One more time. Sure. Okay. So it's eight fast, two. Back up. Do, uh, right. One, two, three, three four. four. Slow, slow, slow. One, two, three, four. Where were we? Oh, God. And just Wrist, look hands, just fingers, look chest, him, you know, just... chin. <laughs> I got Absolutely. it. Okay. Okay. Except my arms are so tired. <laughs> yeah. Wait to get the jewelry on it. The jewelry. The, the jewelry is about 15 pounds on your arms. The jewelry on my arms is yeah, 15 pounds. It's... So this can be like lift, weight lifting too. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah, it's about 15 yeah. pounds. What else have you not told me <laughs> up to this point? When you're walking as a showgirl. For over 40 years, Fluff has been a principal dancer and choreographer. Today, she's responsible for hiring and firing the entire cast. Some perform covered, some topless. Obviously, when you hire a showgirl that is going to perform topless, at some point you have to take her in a room and look at her body. What are you looking for? Well, I look for girls that are, that are well-shaped, uh, that aren't too large, and that, aren't, uh, that they're not going to be so overly endowed that they're going to distract. Do you think that most people think of showgirls as strippers until they come here and see them dance? Yes, I think so. What they are thinking about, as far as showgirls are concerned, are girls that work in topless bars. Eileen Ryans is a single mother in her 30s. She's danced topless in Jubilee for five years. They hear 
breast showing, so they think, okay, you want a bar dancing somewhere, and it's not. It's not at all. 21-year-old Michelle Hershoe is a full-time student at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Dancing has paid for her college education. Your mom and dad both were performers, right? Yeah, they were. And uh, I grew up in it. I was backstage all the time and uh, absolutely love it. I so now, they've been, the obviously, to see this. They must be very proud that oh, you followed are. in the footsteps. They, they cry every time they come here. Really? Mm -hmm. Now, you, you dance topless, right? Yes. So, but they're crying for joy, not because you're dancing topless. No, no, they, they really, they, they agree with it. They have no problem. I think, you know, Dad might have been a little, you know, that's my daughter up there, but, you know, they've, they've been around it all their life. 36-year-old Anthony Brown is married to a former Jubilee dancer and is the father of two. A police officer by day, Anthony is one of the 30% of the men who make up the cast. I'll be honest with you. Here I am from Brooklyn, New York, and these women in jewels, and I, was, I said, I can't do this because I'm going to be busy looking. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I'm going to look at everything around me, and, and, you know, eventually I got it. I, and I've been here for six years doing it. There, okay. Day and two, right a new set of challenges. Feathers, 25 pounds of feathers. It was like starting over again. This is not good. Okay. This is not good. That meant every arm movement. Don't let me see your palms. Soften your elbow. Don't bounce. There you go. Every hip swing. Let it ride. And I had to do it in front of the Jubilee cast. What these dancers go through day in and day out is exhausting. They have to remember fast counts, slow counts, music cues, blocking, and a smile while wearing three-inch heels and making it all look incredibly easy. She's, she's bending and then straightening. Oh, I keep it straight. <laughs> Really well. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Like yeah. I said, it's amazing. The difference between yesterday and today. You must have been up doing... until 12 30. <laughs> you must yeah. have been doing a lot of work on this. The dressing rooms are far from luxurious. 16 people share a cramped space filled with costumes and props. Each showgirl is responsible for doing her own hair and makeup makeup that exaggerates every facial feature so each expression can be seen in the very last row of the theater the dancers come from all walks of life and each unique personality is reflected in their own dressing area when you're out on the job during the day as a cop what do the other <laughs> officers think of what you do in the evening what's their reaction um most of them want to meet the girls in the show they want to come to the show and they always say, well, introduce me to one of your dancer friends. Dancers like Jenny Gruby, a 25-year-old free spirit. Jenny performed in New York and Los Angeles before coming to Jubilee. But if you're single and you're doing two shows a night, six nights a week, <laughs> if somebody wants to take you out, you don't get off work till 1 o'clock in the morning. If they want to see you bad enough, go, they'll stay up. <laughs> that's, my, <laughs> that's my whole theory on it. Yes. A former Miss Texas, Dana Rogers, is an aspiring country recording artist. Being a principal singer is just her night job. You are the president of the PTA. <laughs> Voila. Mother of two, two children. And when you go into the PTA, oh. what do they say to you? They, they, they don't know what to think of me. You know, they, they just wonder what I must look like at night, you know, with lashes and, you know, costumes. And they'll come and see the show and they'll go, oh, my gosh, we couldn't believe that that's, that's the kind of costumes that you wear and it's so glamorous. And when do you sleep? And I go, I don't. Linda Green has been with the show since it opened 16 years ago. At 44, she's the oldest principal dancer currently performing in Las Vegas. I have spent more time in that dressing room than I have in any house I ever lived in. It's a way of life. I, I train at the gym during the day. We come here at 6 o'clock in the evening and at six nights a week. So, so your whole life is dance. Day three, costume number two, one more day to go. Just relax, honey. Just relax. And, and no, we're going to keep yelling at you. What foot? That foot. See that foot? Oh. All that business has to be done. Seven, eight. Face front. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. 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 St
I thought this was going to be the easy one. one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's just walking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When we return, it's showtime. Finally, it was showtime. I signed in by Fluff's office and joined the other dancers behind closed doors. Warm up time. Let's go. You too, Miss While I was preparing for my performance, the show on stage had begun. All right, I'm ready to get dressed, I think. It was time, and Fluff's words echoed in my mind. You can do it. You have the freedom to do what you feel. Just calm everything down. You can do it. One minute. Thank you, Fluff. Thank you, everyone. As the elevator went up, so did my heart rate. But when I felt the energy from the audience, my nervousness turned into exhilaration. At this moment, I felt like a showgirl. In the middle of an extravaganza like this made everything seem larger than light. The music seemed louder, the stage seemed wider, the other girl's legs seemed longer, and there were feathers everywhere. still remembering everything they had taught me, but by now, it was fun. The pressure was off. Even the 25 pounds of feathers seemed lighter, and I was having a good time. to make a complete costume change. Can I go there? Okay, this, this curtain's down. Where okay. to? Where? It takes a lot for a person to be able to stand still and let an audience just look at you. Harder than dancing. You don't move a lot, but your intensity and your focus has to be so strong that that audience is just drawn in on you and you alone. once-in-a-lifetime experience, a chance to live out a fantasy. It was also an opportunity to introduce you to the people behind the costumes. I gained a newfound respect for all of them, and I thank them for allowing me to take you behind closed doors. <laughs>